Hello everyone, you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your shoe making made easy tutor Odurole Mojibola and guess what today I'm going to be showing us how I transform this my pattern to the second one as you can see and today we're going to be learning how to create this beautiful cork pattern i'm sure you'll be wondering how could you how were you able to create this sit back and i'm gonna be wrong so like i told us that my ebook is actually having so many divine designs rather my pattern ebook templates has so many designs that you can actually use to cre recreate new designs and then um, for this particular cork design i'm going to actually be using this particular design for the strap at the core part of the leg now i need you to understand that you can actually use that this particular one you can use it for that particular part where the strap will be entering into the buckle you can also use this to actually create entirely new one it depends on whatever you want now if you are going to be using this particular one i'm going to be showing us how you can actually go about this because looking at that part the cock style as you can see on the screen you'll find out that the cough went in a lot more than what i have on this one but if you can work with this you will, you will actually achieve that same design but if you want it to be to to go inwards then you can definitely use this particular one so let me show you how you can create that particular strap the strap that will be suspended into the buckle of our cock you know pattern so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly draw it out although I don't need majority of the side but the side I need I'm going to draw it out can you see what I have here so what you can do is you can decide to lift this up now lifting it up it now your buckle whatever the width of your buckle is is what would determine the strap that is entering into the buckle so if you want the width to be like 1.5 centimeter for example or probably you want to use it in inch so let me quickly do that for us to see so if you are working with inch you can decide to use about three quarter for this which is about 0 0.75 is 0 0.75 should be around here let's start from two so that you can see properly so you can see that this is, is 0 0.75 so for that particular side now for this particular side for this other side i'm going to suggest you use about two inch wide don't forget that this side is wider for that particular side of our cork sandal pattern so let's quickly move to this side so i'm going to use about two inches here now if you don't want your own to be this wide fine you can decide to use lesser than two now for this coffee part i'm going to suggest that you make that about one and a half inch or one inch it depends on you i think one inch should be fine for that particular cuff so i think one inch should be fine so at the end of the day this is what we are going to be having you are going to now connect everything together so i'm going to connect this first i really need us to see this i'm going to connect this with this first so connecting this now for this particular side we have to be able to connect it gently now i need you to i'm coming to this side so i'm going to start from here so i'm going to try to connect it with this So you can see that that coffee shape that we need for that side we already have it now if you think this is too wide you can decide to reduce all of the edges so i'm going to quickly cut out that particular part So what I did is, I, this is what I have cut out, I decided to duplicate it. Now this is the reason for duplication. Don't forget that now if I place this on this, don't forget that you can still adjust to suit whatever you want to do. But it's so, it's so sure that it can perfectly stay here. You can see what I have. So 
if it's quite long you can reduce it sorry if it's long you can reduce then it comes to this way so it means for this side we can still adjust this we do if you don't want it to be this wide you can still work on all those ones i believe those ones you should be able to work on them it depends on where you want it to stop and all of that and how wide you can still trim it down you can still trim it down to whatever width you want or the size of your buckle so so i can decide to actually reduce this on this particular side can decide to reduce it if i need to reduce more fine well, there's no one way to draw in this you can decide to use the paper grid method decide to draw all over fine but if you are actually if you actually have my pattern ebook you can actually use this so let's say this is what is entering now let's come to this side i want you to know that what you have here is the same thing that will be here like i said earlier if this is quite wide you can reduce it it's not a one-way thing you can reduce so let's say this goes here i'm going to try to use my paper tape to hold it down so that we can see it so i i duplicated it so i'm going to place this this way don't forget if it's on this side it will be this way and if it's on this side it will come this way so i'm going to let it come in here so i'm going to hold this down and i'm going to use it to connect the curve that we have on this particular side as you can see the picture there is a curve coming this way right in here i'm going to use it to create that so it's going to be here i'm also going to use my paper tape to hold it down to go ahead and finish this side hole. so this time around let's go to the front pattern as well as a side pattern now i'm going to be using this straight one for this particular cork sander pattern now don't forget that some call the they, they, they also call this kind of soul the soul is what we actually call cork and some also call it Birkenstock. Well, Birkenstock is actually a brand name for a particular company. But the general name for that particular sew that is used is what we call cork. So I decide to use that to name my sander. So you can call it any name of your choice. So I just position it here now for the front. Now I use about 1.25 inch. 1.25 inch so this is 1.25 inch this is one inch so 1.25 stops here i need you to see 1.25 stops here so that's what i use for this width i started from this calibration here and i stopped here so now for the side i'm going to actually attach now i need to remove my strap because i don't want any attachment so is this side we are actually creating the curve on so i'm going to try to place it on it now i am using about two inches here it's about two inch or 2.5 of an inch let's check it out it's about 2.5 inch so you might not actually make it this wide but i just want to show us how we can leverage on this kind of design now that i have this here I'm going to place it right this way. I'm going to glue them down on it. Then I'm going to use it to create out my cuff. So the next thing we're going to be doing is creating our cuff. That's the next thing we're going to be doing. So I'm going to be using this to create the cuff. You can see what I just did. Most times, for those of us who have been following my tutorial, if you've been following my channel, I'm sure you know that most times I try to get a flexible object to create my curves. So we're going to be following that same kind of pattern right in this particular video. So you can see what I'm having. Now, my curve is close to the second line of this our opening, this particular second one. If you want to move it downward, you can actually do that it depends on what you want and if you want it to be uh, straight on this particular edge downwards you can actually make it to actually be like that so you can see what i'm having here you can see what i have is supposed to go like this 
and then come back like this if you remember if you look if you can see the design although we can still do some adjustments here but that notwithstanding let's first of all get this particular side so positioning it this way will help you to get whatever you want to get there so i'm going to place it upward and try to create my design because i really need that curve here i need it seriously so so you can see what i'm doing when we get here we definitely still needs to come back down now if you look at this particular side you will find out that we already have a shape here that we are supposed to follow we have a shape here so i'm going to try to trim this off because practically we don't need it so so that it will help me with my design so now that i'm coming from here and i came down this way forget this came this way and it's touching here so i might have to move it inwards a little bit because of this place i don't want it to be here so i want to move it inwards a little bit more so at this point now we also need like a curve here on this side although what we have here is not totally like a curve is what we have here we have actually something that went inwards and then came out here so we are going to try as much as possible to actually create that but at least i'm sure you can see we already have the shape here of that front part so for this side i'm going to just try to you can still use your i'm going to still try to use this i just want it to come right you know i want it to come this way can you see what i'm trying to create there i want it to come right this way so that this one can join with this because we still have some here like we have here so from what we have here now so like i said i'm just going to allow it to go in this way because part of it actually went in this way part of it went in this way so just try and then um, let it come in you can allow it to join and then it goes this way so it means that we will not be needing this full part all we need is just this this side that is here that's what we need so i'm just going to trim it out when we are finally through now the next thing we are going to be doing is now if you look at this one we have already created a cuff here but how do we go about this other part this other part so let's quickly do that i'm going to be using my measuring tape so whatever you want the width of this strap here to be that's what's going to determine how this side will look like but let's say i'm going to be using like one quarter let's say i'm using the one quarter for example don't forget i said i use one quarter initially let's say i'm using the one quarter so i'm going to place my one quarter right here i need us to see this right where is stopping right where my my cuff is so that i can easily join it together here i hope you are seeing that so still place it make sure that this particular line is still on on your cuff so this is where it is it, it goes it goes it goes to join that come this way again make sure it's there because that's very important you can see what i'm having now if you look at it you'll find out that this midpoint is quite slim 
it's not as a wide you can even see that even the width of their own the width of of our cork sander now you can actually reduce this you can reduce this if you don't want it to be this wide we can decide to use one so let's say let me say let's use one so i'm going to try to work on this side i think one will be quite fine instead of that our one quarter so that it will not be too wide so i have this to join ensure that this is still remaining is still staying here you understand so this side you can let it come in a little bit a little bit just a little bit you understand like a quarter inwards let it come in like a quarter inward so don't forget that this is coming down this way and then um, i want you to also remember that we have a shape here already so we have to be careful i have a shape there so i'm going to cuff it in to meet this as well so now that we are coming this way don't forget it's still worn so my one i've entered I, I went in a little bit away from one when i got here so please follow me follow me follow me you need to follow me so that you can get everything that i'm doing so i want i want to make sure that whatever i'm doing is still aligns with what we are having here so what whatever whatever the case may be is still going to align with what we have you can remember we have something here so it has to still align with it you can see what i'm having here you can see what we are having here so this is a bit slim this seems wide so that's what we are having here if you want this to come out a little bit it's your choice you can make it wider fine so i'm just going to try to remove it then trace it out for us to see i need to trace it out for us to see so from what i had here so this is this is going to be like this so like i said if you want to use the paper grid if you want to draw you know using three dimensional pattern you can also do that it's all your choice then this side we are going to try to trim it inwards So like I said, if you want this to come out, why not? So I can just, you can see what I have at the back here. You can see what it finally looks like here. So let's see how it looks like. So I have to remove this. Now you can see what I have can see what i have now you can see what i have so if you don't want to go through this route feel free to draw if you want to draw but if you are not good at drawing trust me this is practically for you it's practically for you so if you want to reduce this you can still reduce it's all your choice if you want to reduce this you can reduce it there is no problem in reduction you can decide to reduce it if you so desire fine and if you want to leave it that way why not if not so for the final one that we have coming from this side all you need to do is this so for our shape this other shape that is on our cork sander pattern what we are going to just do is create a y shape you know pattern we just need a y it's coming this way and it's spreading over here now the major thing is just for us to know what we want our strap to be which is the strap that will be coming from this particular side before you now have the y so i'm going to be using this ruler and that is about one quarter of an inch so so i'm going to measure about um, seven or um, six and a half inches on this side 
six and a half six and a half just as a guide to where my y is going to start from now i need you to understand that our the width you know what our y how wide it's going to be it's actually going to be four and a half so i'm going to be using the center of this particular line to actually know where to start from so you need to bear with me i'm going to use the center to locate where to start from so you can decide to draw if you so desire or measure it so so let's say we have our center here so my width i want the final width to be four and a half inch my final width to be four and a half inch so let me use my measuring tape that will be easier so four and a half what is half or four and a half all i need to do is just to fold my measuring tape this way place it as my so-called center mark here then come here and mark my 4.5 so whatever 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 the case may be my shape is coming in right here and it's coming in right here so it means what i have here is what i'm going to divide into what is going to be suspended into this particular place don't forget that there's an opening here there's another opening here and there is another opening here So I don't want an angle here. So then the same thing here. Definitely don't want an angle there. So as you can see now, so let me see how to go about this. So this is the first one. So just a small opening there just a small opening it's quite small very small opening just small so i'm going to come to this side not a small very small let me trim it from this side. So now you can see that we have three. So if you want whatever thing you want, if you think is wide, you can actually reduce. So see what I'm having here. You can see the way it's strategically positioned here. And then we have our design ready. You can see. So you can reduce this actually. It's not compulsory that it should be this wide. You can just reduce it if you don't want it to be this wide. You can see that the center, this one at the center seems wider than others. So we can decide to trim it in just a little bit. Just a little, just a little, just a little bit. So we have this 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 you can see how this side will look like you can also trim this down if it's too wide so all we need now is to go ahead with our opening don't forget there's an opening here and here you're going to be opening this one up here then you're coming to this side there's going to be an opening two sides opening because you are opening two sides each time it's going to you know, four of us enter the first one, come out and enter into the second one again. So also on this side. So you're going to work with your width. So you can see that from what we have here now, our cock sander pattern is actually 
ready now you can decide to do whatever moderation you want to do it's fine if you think this side is too short you want to make it longer you can make it longer it depends on you all you need to do is to just make sure that this side this particular side comes down a little bit more and this one comes more out here so it makes it makes this side longer than what we have here but with this i stably so strongly that you should be able to create this so I'm expecting you to create and let me see what you have come up with by watching this particular video. So thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you have learned one or two things, let me know in the comment section what actually impressed you out of all this technique that I used to create this. And if you have other opinions as regard how we can actually create it, please let me know in the comment section. And I need to know that I still have my classes if you would like to be part of it. I have my beginner's courses. I have my advanced courses, which is majorly on heels and horn molds. Thank you once again for being part of today's tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at GBFM40. And for you watching me for the first time, thank you and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial. Yes, please ensure that you subscribe. Subscribe, click the subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell that helps you to get notification each time i upload a video thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial and i'm gonna see you next time bye